Okay, now that all the blue parts are finished drying, I'm going to now paint the light blue parts on this, give it the two-tone color. Let's see how this comes out. Now, I could easily have painted these parts blue a little lighter as well, but I'm going to really don't see myself doing that considering that it's going to be masked off and painted white later on. So I just want to give it that overall look to it. There we go. I have the light's a little too strong for you guys to see. Here we go. That came out okay. Let's try this part. Yeah, that came out okay. Good. Shoulders. Now for the shoulders, I do know that the edges here are black, while around here is yellow, and then inside is yet uh, black. I think that's going to be a lot of work for me. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try it the best I could. Overall pass. Good. Good. And uh, let's try this one here. This is the side, the backpack. Now, some of you are going to probably be telling me, what about the other parts, the ones that are not been primed? The one, I mean, not, uh, that's not the blue, like uh, specific parts that have blue parts inside. For example, this. We do know that inside here, that's blue. Well, I'm going to paint that, and then I'm going to 
apply uh, masking tape on it to cover it up. I know it's not the same thing as what I did before with the darker blue, but I think that should be okay. Because then once this dries and I cover it up, cover this up with with the masking tape, I'll paint that red and then I'll show off. Another one is this one here, which is the actual front part of, front, front part of the waist. Anything in the back? No, that's a fan of that. I'll review this in a moment. And then, of course, these. If I'm not mistaken, where are they? Oh, right here. So, you see that little notch there? Now it's painted blue, and then of course I'll cover it up and paint the rest of this red, or whatever color I remember what I was talking about. Um, these parts, this is part of the foot, uh, no, the, the leg. I know that there's more to this than what I remembered in the sticker, but I decided to do it this way. Because clearly the effect of the green of the clear part will go over it and give it the uh, desired results. Uh, I think the last thing I'm going to do, two things I'm going to do before I continue on, would be this because there's a sticker that goes here. So I'm gonna The last thing I'll show you would be this, the head. Because there is trim parts here and here. Therefore, and that one here. Right, so we got the back part there, and the back the front part there. And I believe this part too. There we go. And eventually I'm going to have to figure a way how to make a masking tape that will cover this part and then the rest of that part will be red. No, black. Which of course I may have to cover the whole thing. No. Because now I gotta redetail re -detail that as well. Alright. Ah, it's a lot of work, of course, but you gotta do. What are you going to do? So, let me continue on with the remaining parts and then we'll move on to the next stage. Alright, so now I'm gonna continue on with smaller part, you know, smaller paints that I'm gonna use, like the uh, yellow. Specifically, of course, for the um, G self. I'm just going to use a regular yellow on this. I was thinking of doing the orange and yellow combination, but I thought this would be a lot easier. I haven't done a nice solid yellow in a while. It will look, it'll look uh, pretty good, nice and smooth. Not nice. Some of the parts here, very little yellow parts, of course, on the um, on the G self. Mainly the parts on the sh on the waist unit and on the chest. There you go.
Tamiya's yellow is a very, very strong color, but it's not very forgiving. I had a before I started this video, I had to make sure that the quality of paint ratio with the thinner was adequate because sometimes if you don't do this right, chances are you'll clog up and spit out gunks on it. And I've had many, many, many mistakes with the yellow. And certain other colors. There are certain colors that are very forgiving, while others are like a pain in the ass. This is one of them, so I'm actually deeply impressed in how well the yellow is coming onto this. Now, there are two things that I'm going to do that's going to be very difficult. First things first, we all know what this is. This is the actual face mask of the G Self. The G Self eyes are yellow. So I'm gonna try and it'll, I'm gonna try to paint these yellow if I can. Just go a little There we go. Now obviously I'm going to paint the, the uh, around the eyes black and then the top and bottom part will be painted red now the most difficult part is this let me uh, zoom out so you guys can see this and then zoom in like so because this part here is yellow trim so I'm going to paint this and then cover up with the masking tape. Many of you guys are saying, what the fuck am I doing? Actually, let me make sure that I'm hitting the right one. I don't want to accidentally... So hang on a second. What's a good representation? Oh, here we go. So right here is the section with the yellow. Is, so that's it. Now, yes, some of you have seen the the um, the gun barrels. That I will try to pan paint because I don't think I'm going to be able to swing with the uh, airbrush. Hmm, maybe this is not a good idea. The reason I'm saying is because it's black. You know what? No, this is not going to work. I'll wipe it off a bit and then re-spaint, re-spray, yeah, re-spray paint it black. Then uh, after I finish painting it all, I'll mask it off and re-spray paint that yellow. So, quick fix. Okay. All right, so the next part that I'm going to paint it will be, of course, the red parts of G cell using 114 or ML to be red. Now, I did a little bit of preparing since I had to cover the blue parts that I pre painted here. Let's see how it looks.
think I should realize that sometimes a darker color under a red sometimes will show off. And I'm seeing the remnants of the blue bleeding through. I'll, um, I'll give this a few minutes to dry and then I'll cover it up again. Here's the head or the part of the mask, of course. I covered up the eyes. I think I may have uh, ordered this down a little too much. give it a little bit of tapping the wing. Yeah, very few red parts here, so shouldn't, I'm not going to waste you guys' time just so you can see the remaining parts of me painting red. We'll move on to the next color.